Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a problem with my Lenovo X3650 model 4 it has a graphics card in it and I'm trying to pass that through VMware ESXi 6.5 and um, when I make a virtual machine in there I can boot the virtual machine if I add the graphics card to it it will totally crash the host it will just say and um, reboot and if I do it again it will reboot so um, that's kind of sucks and I don't know what's going on but uh, I have a suspicion that I might be drawing too much power um, I have two 550 watt power supplies in this server and they should well I think there might be enough power for it but according to Lenovo's specs for what I can put in uh, with a 550 watt power supply it's not enough I have two CPUs in here each is 115 watts I have 24 slots of memory occupied with 16 gigabytes blocks and I have this GPU and a couple of solid state drives I might have a problem so I was on eBay and I won this auction and that was a 900 watt power supply there was actually two for sale I only got the one of them that's how cheap I am <clears throat> I might, I might want to go get another one but, well I needed to start somewhere so I just uh, I got one of them I didn't get this as a very good price I paid way too much for it bit sad but um, better than the new price that's for sure but I want to try and put this in and see if that makes any difference for my trouble see if um, if it will handle any better so I think we should do that and if it doesn't work well I think I'll try and see if I can get a screenshot of the purple screen of death that it makes when it boots but I'm not sure if I can put a 900 watts in together with a 550 watt power supply if the server will boot with that but I think we should try that and see what happens I don't think it will self-destruct or anything like that um, I think it will be complaining and just calling me an idiot out on the screen and uh, well then we'll see that and we can agree with it right let's um, push the server in and go around the back and try and put this in right are you with me cool let's do that okay let's go in behind the server oh the camera if I tilt it just a little bit it can go in here there is not a lot of space so here it is right around that's the power cables those two white ones I use that so let's see the bottom one is power supply number one and the top one is power supply number two so let's take out the power supply number one of them like that okay. ah. there and I'm holding that between my legs and take the 900 watt one Oops. And I'm gonna try and slide that in. There. You can see on the fans that this one says 550 watts. And the other, the bottom one now says 900 watts. So now I just need to pick up these white cables again and plug those in. And we will see what happens. If it explodes, we want a good view, right? So, I'll try with the 900 watts. That light it up green down here. And the 500 watts also lighting up green. And the server is uh, prepping for something, so probably okay. I have the monitor plugged in and I have the keyboard plugged in. That should be enough for something, okay. So let's go out of here again. <sighs> ah. Yeah. So the server is blinking, so we should be able to power it up. Rich. 
have the 550 watt power supply right there so let's see what it says well it's uh, it's starting the boot system is initializing no problem whatsoever yet let's see how far it gets before it uh, comes and calls me an idiot um, if it does I should be able to plug out the second 550 watt power supply and just run on one 900 watt that should work and it's complaining over here oh can you see that you can see that it does not like this yeah. PS for power supply configuration probably it doesn't like the configuration of my power supplies ah. Let's see if it boots anyway. Okay, the server did boot and it's also booted ESXi 6.5, which is okay. So let's uh, keep that. We need to see that if it uh, goes haywire on us. Over here, system status, and we get a very big fat alert. Uh, PS configuration has configuration mismatch. And down here it says power module critical so let's see what it says it has found that we have a 900 watts and we have a 500 watts and it says critical okay it says that there is a mismatch so that's not good um i don't know if why it's complained so much about that mm. let's see what it says about power mod i think that might have been yeah what we just saw Let's go power management, see what it thinks we have available. And what is power allocation? Power hasn't gone up. It still says that I have about 660 watts available. System max 529 watts. Um, I am not sure if this is going to work. It might work. Uh, the server is right now using about, what is that, 115 watts. Uh, not doing anything here. It was booting. It was up and sniffed around the 177 watts DC. Let's see the AC side. Uh, the power coming into the server. Refresh. That should be a little bit higher. Yes. Uh, here it uses about 150 watts uh, with a maximum of 100. 215 watts 150 here and 215 here okay let's um let's try and see what happens when i boot this virtual machine with, 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 with the graphics card i have passed through the graphics card it's there it's an amd fire pro v 7900 and that should be a really awesome uh, graphics card for my video editing so that's why I want to play with this. I am not giving this much chance. I do think that it's just gonna go purple screen on me and die. So I want to keep this close. Let's power on the machine. See this. And I'm ready on the print screen button. I think this is gonna fail miserably. It's not responding right now. Over here it's it says that it's loading, running 50. Yeah, something happened over here. Do we get an error or did it just boot? It just booted. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go and take out the 550 watt power supply so that it's just the 900 watts that is in there and we'll try this again. Okay, the server has booted again or actually. I started it so now when we go back here to the main screen we get an old green uh, let's just see the power module that was bad before because I was mixing them up right now it's only the 900 watts that is in there and let's go see power management power allocation so we have Total DC power available, 900 watts. Uh, system is using a maximum of 529 watts. And there should be 371 remaining. 
So if this is a power problem and I'm using too much power, I should now have resolved that. So I'm gonna go to my VMware host here and I'm gonna try and power up this machine again and see if it, uh, well, boots, which I don't think this is gonna work. So, well, let's see what happens. We have this one. Down here it's running 42%. It's not doing anything more. Uh, what can be wrong with this? So as soon as I turn on this virtual machine, which has the, yeah, it boosts the server. So it's not a power issue, but, uh, but we did get to see the power supplies. And I think I'll just go and show what Lenovo talks about with this uh, power usage. So this is Lenovo Press and that's um, a really good place to go to find out about stuff if you have a Lenovo server or the um, IBM servers uh, from the X series which is, uh, has moved over to Lenovo. And if we go down here for a little bit and over here there is a menu called power supplies. And we can go down there and I can see the different power supplies that are available for this system. There's the 550 watts that I have. There's a 750 watts available. There is a 750 watts uh, which runs on 48 volt power DC coming in. And then there is the 900 watt power supply that I'm currently running in the system. And down here there is a, a lot of stuff that um, you can power with one or two of these power supplies. If you have just one of these power supplies, you should be able to run one power supply installed, uh, two processors up to 115 watts or lower. That's what I'm doing. Eight dims, well, I'm running 24, so I'm over the max right there. Three PCI Express um, cards, including the built-in uh, card. Um, I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm only running one graphics card and a maximum of 16 drives. So it can actually handle a lot. Then there is one power supply and only one processor. Then you can handle some more. If you have two power supplies, uh, you can handle even a little bit more and so on. But with the 550 watt power supplies, it very clearly says no GPU supported. So, um, well, that was why I thought that maybe the system knows that it's not supposed to be working with a GPU. Even the 750 watt power supply uh, also says that it's not compatible with a GPU, if there is just one of them at least. This is kind of weird. I would think that uh, they meant that uh, with one you cannot run a GPU and with two you could run a GPU. Um, but it doesn't say that, eh. so um, I think there might be an error. I would, I would guess that that, but they really skipped the 750 a lot. So let's go directly onto the 900 with one power supply installed and no GPU adapter is selected. Uh, what do they mean about that? Okay, so what they mean up here that is that when you don't have a GPU in there, there is no restrictions to uh, drives, memory, processors, adapters and stuff. If you do install a CPU, uh, then you have restrictions. And they are different depending on what GPU you select. In this table, they're looking at the NVIDIA Quad K5000, K6000, the NVIDIA Tesla K, 40C and down here is the NVIDIA Grid K2 card and two uh, K6000. Um, not really a card that I have but I am guessing that my card uses less power so it should have been working so eh, it does not really work for me. I'll have to look into this some more. Well that wasn't it, but we got to see some power supplies, didn't we? Um, I have looked at the at the light path diagnostics here, and I've also been in the 
IMM and checked out the log files and it says that the server has booted because of an uh, CPU error and that's also what it says here. My first thought was that the CPU was not getting enough power or something and was shutting down and well I just had the 900 watts power supply so I thought what the hell let's try that see what happens that's not it so I will have to um, try something else see what's going on but we did learn something from this video you cannot mix power supplies you need two power supplies that are alike otherwise the server will complain and it will boot but it will be complaining and showing up red and you will not get any benefits of the better power supply it will kind of level down so that the least so that the smallest power supply is the one um, supplying the numbers but well thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye